Okay, in this problem, we're asked to, for each critical point P, use Morse lemma to write F after a change of coordinates in one of the following three forms. Um, F of P plus U squared plus V squared, F of P minus U squared minus V squared, or F of P plus U squared minus V squared. And we want to describe the level curves near P and then finally, we're given that the function f of x, y is given as y squared plus x natural log y minus x plus e y. And we want to describe the critical, or first find the critical points. So we'll take the gradient vector of f, or just the partial derivatives of f with respect to x and y. So f sub x is going to be... the natural log of y minus 1, and partial derivative of f with respect to y is going to be 2y plus x over y plus e. And we want to find um, critical points, so that's when the gradient vector of f is equal to 0, or when each of the components of the gradient vector are zero, and we have the components of the gradient vector, so we want natural log y minus one to be equal to zero, but that means that natural log of y is equal to one, so so we know that y is going to be equal to e. And now we want to calculate um, partial, or we want to set the partial derivative of f sub y, or f with respect to y equal to zero. And we know that in order to be a critical point, y must be equal to e. So we can plug that into our partial derivative. So we get Combine the 2e plus e to be 3e plus x times e to the negative 1. And we'll solve for x. We get x is equal to negative 3e squared. Okay, so now we know that our critical point lies when x is equal to negative 3e squared and y is equal to e. And so that means that we only have one critical point. And we want to use Morse lemma to write f as a change of variable. So in order to determine, or to write f after a change of variable in one of these three forms, in order to determine what form, Morse lemma tells us that These forms are dependent on lambda 1 and lambda 2, where lambda 1 times lambda 2 is equal to the determinant of our Hessian matrix, and lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is equal to the sum of the partial derivative or of f sub x, x, and f sub y, y. So in order to find lambda 1 and lambda 2, um, we need to calculate the second partial derivatives. So partial derivative of f sub x with respect to x is 0. Partial derivative of f sub x with respect to y is 1 over y. And we'll just check, double check that partial derivative of f sub y with respect to x is also 1 over y. Um, yeah, so the x over y is the only term that has x. So the partial derivative 
of x over y with respect to x is 1 over y, which checks here. And, oh, sorry, this should be f sub x, y squared is the determinant. Uh, and we want to calculate the partial derivative of f sub y with respect to y, which is 2 minus x over y squared. And now we want to plug into these two forms. So we get lambda 1 times lambda 2 is equal to f sub x x times f sub y y, which is just 0, minus f sub x y squared minus 1 over y squared. And we'll evaluate this at our critical point, which we know uh, our critical point y is equal to e. So we get negative 1 over e squared. And at this point, we know that lambda 1 times lambda 2 is a negative value. So that means that lambda 1 and lambda 2 have different signs. And we actually can just stop there. We don't even need to solve for explicitly what lambda 1 and lambda 2 are, since uh, Morse lemma tells us that if they have opposite signs, then we're in this case. So we can write So we get f composed of phi of uv is equal to f of p plus u squared minus phi squared. And um, this is for some change of coordinate. We know that it exists because our lambdas have opposite signs. And our determinant of the Hessian matrix is non-zero, so it's non-degenerate. And our critical point is non-degenerate, I should say. And um, so now we just need to calculate what f of p is. And then we have our formula. So let's calculate f of p. Our point is uh, negative 3e squared comma e. So So we have f of p is e squared minus 3e squared times the natural log of e plus 3e squared plus e squared. See a common term is e squared. Um, and also the natural log of e is 1. So we have e squared minus 3e squared plus 3e squared plus e squared minus 3e squared and plus 3e squared cancel. So we get e squared plus e squared, 2e squared. So we can go ahead and plug that in. So we know that there exists a uh, change of coordinate such that f composed of phi of uv is equal to 2e squared plus u squared minus phi squared. And in this form, it's easy to see that we're going to have a saddle at our critical point, which means that our level curves at the critical point are going to, or our level set at the critical point is going to cross over at that point. So um, remember that if there was a minimum or a maximum, we would see circles around the critical point, but we have a saddle, so the level set is going to cross over itself.